Welcome to Growing Chatham North Carolina Cooperative Extension Chatham County Center's November 2022 podcast. I'm Tiffany Hancock. To access the links that are mentioned in today's podcast, just visit go.ncsu.edu forward slash Growing Chatham 1122. Let's get started. Our office will be closed November 11th in observance of Veterans Day. Our office will also be closed on November 24th and 25th for the Thanksgiving holiday. Make your way down to Little Way Farm on November 5th, 2022 for their next First Saturday event. Starting at 10 a.m. and it runs until 1 p.m., you can find Little Way Farm at 5776 Siler City, Snow Camp Road, Siler City, North Carolina. You can check out the video in the Growing Chatham newsletter for more details about this upcoming event. You can find Little Way Farm on the Visit North Carolina Farms app. Another Chatham County farm that you can find on the Visit North Carolina Farms app is Jordan Lake Christmas Tree Farm. Jordan Lake Christmas Tree Farm is opening soon, so reserve your spot to make holiday memories at Jordan Lake Christmas Tree Farm. Starting on November 4th, 2022, the reservation portal will be available on the Jordan Lake Christmas Tree Farm's website. Owner Diana May said to come early because, like last year, there is a Christmas tree shortage. They are anticipating that they may sell out of Christmas trees by the first week of December. So don't delay. Mark your calendars and make your reservations starting November 4th. Just visit jordanlakechristmas.com to make your reservations. And check out Jordan Lake Christmas Tree Farm's video in the Growing Chatham newsletter. You can find Jordan Lake Christmas Tree Farm and Little Way Farm on the Visit North Carolina Farms app, the app that brings the consumers to the farmers. You can download the app to your smart device through Google Play or the App Store. Visit their website. Visit ncfarmstoday.com. Here's some news from our 4-H team. We are happy to announce our newest team member, Bobby McLean. Bobby takes over as our new Chatham County 4-H agent. Bobby was born and raised right here in Chatham County. If you'd like to contact Bobby, you can email her at b-o-b-b-i-e underscore m-c-l-e-a. A-N at N-C-S-U dot E-D-U. That's Bobby underscore McLean at N-C-S-U dot E-D-U. Or you can call her at 919-542-8248. Welcome to 4-H, Bobby. Chatham County 4-H Horse Couture Club leader Mary Dickerson provided us an update from the All-American Quarter Horse Congress. The North Carolina 4-H national educational teams are back from the All-American Quarter Horse Congress in Ohio. It was a large contest with lots and lots of studying, but also a lot of success, fun, and great experience. Being on a national team is an amazing experience for the youth, said Mary and she's honored to be a part of it. North Carolina 4-H Hippology team placed first in exam, third in stations, first in judging, and first overall champions, with all four members in the top 10 overall. Team members include Samantha Durham, who placed seventh in exam, eighth in judging, and ninth overall. Allie Coble, who placed fifth in exam, ninth in stations, first in judging, and sixth overall. Kaya Wirth, who placed fourth in exam, seventh in stations, fifth overall. Lauren Williams, eighth in exam, fifth in stations, sixth in judging, and seventh overall. Mary Dickerson and Ruth Vorder Brugay were the coaches. To read more about this exciting trip to Ohio, just visit the Growing Chatham newsletter. It's that time of year. It's time to vote. And do your kids know what voting is all about? Why voting is important? Check out the video in the Growing Chatham newsletter, Voting for Kids, Why Voting is Important, Election Day from Kids Academy. Our 4-H team would like to say Happy Thanksgiving. We are incredibly blessed by our 4-H family and thankful for caring volunteers and generous community members who make Chatham County 4-H an amazing program. 
To access the Growing Chatham newsletter, just visit go.ncsu.edu forward slash Growing Chatham 1122. Here's some updates from Extension Agent Matt Jones. Storm damage landscape trees, hurricanes, tornadoes, and ice storms can all damage landscape trees. Here are some prevention tips. Select salt-tolerant species. Avoid tree species with brittle wood, weakly attached to limbs, or spreading codominant branches and trunks, weeping or vase-like crowns that are more susceptible to storm damage. Trees with upright, narrow crowns or fewer and thicker branches are less susceptible to storm damage. Identify trees at risk and monitor regularly. You can read more about storm damage landscape trees in the Growing Chatham newsletter. Coming up, Stream Bank Repair and Invasives Identification Workshop. This workshop will be held on November 19th, 2022 from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m. Salar City Stream Bank Workshop will be held at 311 North Fur Avenue, Salar City. Attendees at this workshop will participate in a hands-on stream bank protection and invasives treatment project, including installation of live stakes and other native plants to assist in reestablishment of the stream buffer. This event is for individuals 18 years or older. For safety reasons, individuals under 18 years old, even supervised, will not be permitted. You can learn more about the Stream Bank Repair and Invasives Identification Workshop by visiting the Growing Chatham Newsletter. Identification and Decision Guide for Cypress Problems Several species of cypress-type conifers are widely planted in North Carolina landscapes. These trees are sometimes used as specimen plants, but are often placed together in rows to form screens or yard barriers. These trees are susceptible to numerous diseases, arthropod pests, and abiotic stressors, including those caused by human activity. Those also undergo changes in appearance as they mature. Read the step-by-step guide that will help you when dealing with these issues. In some cases, it will lead you to a diagnosis. In others, it will lead you to the conclusion that a physical and or image sample needs to be submitted. You can read more about identification and decision guide for Cypress problems in the Growing Chatham Newsletter. The Growing Chatham Newsletter features a video, Fall Foliage, The Changing of the Leaves. To view this video and to access the articles, just visit go.ncsu.edu forward slash growing chatham 1122. This month, Extension Agent Debbie Roos would like to share some information about upcoming webinars, Thanksgiving week at our Chatham County Farmers Markets, and a little bit of Southern history about drying apples. The USDA will offer webinars about insurance for small, diversified farms. The USDA's Risk Management Agency is offering virtual workshops on November 15th and December 13th for agricultural producers, especially important to specialty crop, organic, urban, and direct market producers and stakeholders to learn about the latest updates and improvements to the whole farm revenue protection and the micro farm insurance options. The Risk Management Agency will host these workshops for agricultural producers via Microsoft Teams events to help them understand and know more about these very important insurance options. The virtual workshops will include the Risk Management Agency Administrator Marsha Bunger and other team members to highlight important improvements to whole farm and micro farm and answer questions about these insurance options. To learn more, just visit the Growing Chatham newsletter to access the link. You can now view the recording of Landowner Liability Webinar. The North Carolina Tree Farm Association and the North Carolina State University Department of Forestry recently hosted a landowner liability webinar taught by Andrew Brannan, North Carolina State Extension Assistant Professor in Agricultural and Environmental Law. The webinar focused on matters of premises liability and timber protection for landowners, including trespass, 
legal sufficiency of boundary and hazard marking, as well as disputes over boundaries and easements. The information covered is relevant to forest landowners and farmers. Just visit the Growing Chatham newsletter and click on the link to access this webinar. Thanksgiving week at our Chatham County Farmers Markets. Whether you're planning to gather with family and friends for Thanksgiving or just want to enjoy high-quality, locally grown food on your own, make sure and stop by one of Chatham County's amazing farmer's markets to get everything you need. A couple of the markets will have special hours to accommodate the holiday. Just click on the link in the growing Chatham newsletter for more details about the Thanksgiving week markets. Drying apples connects us to Southern history. Fall is a great time to find locally grown apples, including heirloom apples at the farmer's markets and at local orchards. Apples were a big part of life for our southern ancestors, especially in rural areas. Apples were unrivaled among fruits for their nutrition, taste, keeping ability, and diversity of uses. Most rural families had large orchards where apples could be harvested for six months of the year. They could not only be eaten fresh, but dried, cooked, and processed for pies, applesauce, apple butter, apple cider, apple brandy, and cider vinegar, which is used in large quantities to preserve foods in the days before canning and refrigeration. Agriculture agent Debbie Roos enjoys drying apples as a way to both create a tasty snack and connect to her southern heritage. You can read all about this history and find out how to dry your own apples by clicking on the link in the growing Chatham newsletter. Just visit go.ncsu.edu forward slash growing Chatham 1122. Here are some November updates from our Livestock Equine Field Crops and Forages agent, Christina Britt. The Chatham County Nichols for Know How referendum will be held on Thursday, November 17, 2022. Nichols for Know How is a 65-year-old voluntary assessment on feed and fertilizer produced and purchased in North Carolina. If you or your family buy feed or fertilizer, you can vote. Polling places will be established in each county. Every county center will have at least one polling place on site. Christina Britt, Chatham County Referendum Chairman, informs residents that one polling site has been established at the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Chatham County Center, 1192 U.S. 64 West Business Suite 400 in Pittsburgh. Chairman Britt, explains that the referendum is being held to let users and producers of feed or fertilizer decide if they wish to continue the self-assessment program. This program has been in place since 1948, and the law requires that a new referendum be held every six years. A two-third favorable vote will mean that growers are willing to continue to access themselves to support agricultural research and education. The assessment is 15 cents per 100 pounds on feed and fertilizer in North Carolina. To learn more about Nichols for Know How, you may access the story in the growing Chatham newsletter. Understanding Meat Label Claims for Consumers Webinar Wednesday, November 2nd, 2022, from 12 until 1 p.m. Grass-fed, pasture-raised, no added hormones, grass-finished, grain-finished, free-range, natural. Have you ever wondered what all those terms mean? Who verifies these labels? Join us for our Lunch and Learn webinar, where representatives from our Greener World North Carolina Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services and United States Department of Agriculture will explain these claims to help you understand them better the next time you visit your local meat case. Are you a producer raising animals for meat? Join us on December 6th at 6.30 p.m., where we will also cover certification requirements. You may register for this webinar by visiting the Growing Chatham newsletter. Save the dates. Piedmont Beef Tour is coming up March 24, 2023 in Asheboro, North Carolina. The Piedmont Regional Goat and Sheep Conference is coming up April 28, 2023 in Greensboro, North Carolina. Join the North Carolina Lead Shepherd Program Networking Groups. 
Are you a small, ruminant producer interested in working with other producers, specialists, and extension agents to improve your operation? These small groups will help expand your contact list and be a great way to help us all work together as an industry to improve the productivity of our flocks and profitability of our operations. More information and the sign-up form can be found in the Growing Chatham newsletter. As folks get signed up, we will start organizing groups. Each group will contain individuals that participated in our Lead Shepherd program this summer. Groups are welcome to meet in person or via Zoom. There will be an upcoming pesticide school in Pittsburgh. Pesticide schools are hosted by the North Carolina State Pesticide Safety Education Program with the help of the North Carolina Extension Service and the North Carolina Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. Each school takes place over a one and a half day period and reviews pesticide material so that attendees may be better prepared to take the North Carolina Department of Ag and Consumer Services pesticide exams, which were offered at 1 o'clock p.m. on the second day of the school. Exam fees are paid separately to the NCDA and CS prior to taking the exams. North Carolina State Extension Specialist, County Extension Agents, and North Carolina Department of Ag and Consumer Services Pesticide Inspectors present lessons from the Pesticide Education Program's manuals and answers questions or offer clarity clarification on issues that applicators face. Each year, the Pesticide Safety Education Program aids more than 1,200 attendees who are pursuing their license for the first time. The Pesticide School in Pittsburgh will be held November 16th and 17th. This one-and-a-half-day school is in person. School hours are from 8.30 a.m. until 5 p.m. on day one and 8.30 until 11.30 a.m. on day two. The exam session is on day two from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. The location is at the Chatham County Extension Center, 1192 U.S. Highway 64 West Business, Pittsburgh. You can learn more about Pesticide School and to register for the Pesticide School in Pittsburgh by clicking on the links in the growing Chatham newsletter. Frequently Asked Questions Beginning Niche Meat Producers Are you just starting out on a farming venture into selling meat products grown on your farm? Do you have questions but can't find your answer? North Carolina Choices, a center for environmental farming systems, initiative offers a publication of frequently asked questions, beginning niche meat producers. You can find these frequently asked questions, beginning niche meat producers, publication in the Growing Chatham newsletter by clicking on the link. To access the Growing Chatham newsletter, just visit go.ncsu.edu forward slash Growing Chatham. Chatham 1122. Here's some forestry news from Ginger Cunningham, County Extension Director and Extension Agent, 4-H Youth Development and Forestry. North Carolina State University addresses the post-pandemic future of the North Carolina forestry sector. North Carolina State recently released an article that addresses what North Carolina's forestry sector may look like in the coming years, based on recent reports from North Carolina State University Professor Rajan Parahuli. Forestry is an incredibly impactful industry in the state, providing over 130,000 jobs and $32 billion in economic benefit, direct, indirect, and induced contributions. However, the forestry industry in the United States has been declining in recent years, even prior to the pandemic. In 2020, the North Carolina forestry industry experienced severe declines, losing over 10,000 jobs and $2 billion in economic benefit. The industry continues to struggle due to poor pay relative to the hazards workers face, small companies going out of business, continued supply chain issues, and other related factors. You can read more in the Growing Chatham newsletter. North Carolina sees declined timber prices in third quarter of 2022. 
North Carolina State's Dr. Robert Barden reported that standing timber prices decreased across all major pine and hardwood products in the third quarter of 2022 compared to the previous quarter. The downward trend in North Carolina pine stumpage prices is in line with the south-wide averages and seasonal norms. North Carolina's decline in hardwood stumpage prices is not in line with the south-wide average hardwood stumpage prices, which have increased for the major products in the third quarter of 2022. You can read more in the growing Chatham newsletter. Sixth, women in fire prescribed fire training exchanged to be hosted in North Carolina. The sixth women in fire prescribed fire training exchange was recently announced. This two-week training exchange is designed to increase diversity in the talent pool of fire. The training exchange engages all genders in building a support network for female fire practitioners, working to advance their leadership in wildland fire management. Though the Women in Fire prescribed fire training exchange has focus on women in fire, people of all backgrounds, genders, and professional affiliations are encouraged to apply. The sixth Women in Fire Prescribed Training Exchange is planned for February 20th through March 3rd, 2023 in southeastern North Carolina. Applications are due by November the 18th. You can view the story map about the history of the Women in Fire Prescribed Fire Training Exchange and the application and additional information in the growing Chatham newsletter. Just visit go.ncsu.edu forward slash growing Chatham 1122. Liz Money, Program Assistant, has some community and rural development information she'd like to share with you. Coming up is a free entrepreneurship curriculum. The Chatham Community Library is offering a free entrepreneurship curriculum. Creating a new business is more than setting up shop and selling products. Learn how to create your brand with help from your library. Check out the video in the growing Chatham newsletter for more details. You can also click on the link for more information or to register for this Entrepreneurial Mindset course. Council on Aging 2022 Senior Education Conference. The 2022 Senior Education Conference is coming up Friday, November 18th, 2022 at the Chatham County Agriculture and Conference Center. Come for a variety of senior-related topics as the Council on Aging brings back one of its most popular offerings of the year. The keynote speakers, Dr. Tiffany Long, UNC Division of Geriatric Medicine. She'll be discussing the art of aging well. There is no cost to attend, but registration is required. Check-in begins at 8.30 a.m. with the first session at 9 a.m. A light lunch is planned. For more information or to register, contact Jimmy Lewis, Grants and Communications Specialist at 919-542-4512, extension 229, or email jimmy, J-I-M-M-Y dot Lewis, L E W I S at Chatham County NC dot gov. The Chatham Chamber of Commerce Children's Business Fair is coming up November 12th, 2022. Chatham Chamber of Commerce in partnership with Acton from 1 until 4 p.m. at the Mosaic at Chatham Park in Pittsburgh. For more information, contact the Chatham County Chamber of Commerce or visit the Children's Fair website, childrensbusinessfair.org forward slash Pittsburgh dash NC. Attorney General Josh Stein alert. Attorney General Josh Stein alert. Protect yourself after a data breach. Recent security breaches are affecting hundreds of thousands of people, which means North Carolinians should take action to protect their data. If your data is compromised in a security breach, North Carolina law requires that the company or agency who held the data let you and your office know. More than 2.4 million North Carolinians were affected by these incidents last year. To read more, just visit the growing Chatham newsletter. Just visit go.ncsu.edu forward slash growing Chatham 1122. 
Tara Gregory Extension Agent Family and Consumer Sciences wants you to join the Budget Recipe Challenge. With the high food prices here to stay a while longer, it's important to find healthy and delicious recipes that go easy on our budgets. If you have just the recipe, we'd love for you to join our Budget Recipe Challenge this fall. To find out more about the Budget Recipe Challenge, just click on the link in the Growing Chatham newsletter. Coming to the Chatham County Libraries, it's Tara Gregory, eating healthy on a budget. Join registered dietitian Tara Gregory to discover ways to eat nutritious foods without going over budget. Friday, November 4th at 11 a.m., she'll be at the Golston Public Library. On Saturday, November 5th at 10 a.m., you can find Tara at the Chatham Community Library. And on Monday, November 7th at 5.30 p.m., Tara will visit Wren Memorial Library. So join Tara at one of our local library locations. $20 Thanksgiving meal. If you're looking for a Thanksgiving meal for four on a budget, well, try these tasty recipes. These tasty recipes can be your guide to a trimmed down yet traditional holiday meal. To find those $20 Thanksgiving meal recipes, just visit the Growing Chatham newsletter and click on the link. Make healthier holiday choices. The holidays are often filled with time-honored traditions that include some of our favorite meals and foods. As you celebrate, think of the little changes you can make to create healthier meals and active days. You can read more in the growing Chatham newsletter. Check out the video, How to Safely Brine Your Turkey. And after that, check out the Safely Storing Your Holiday Meal Leftovers through our Homegrown series. To access the videos and the links to the Budget Recipe Challenge, just visit go.ncsu.edu forward slash Growing Chatham 1122. Brandy King, County Extension Administrative Assistant, and I were recently talking about how you can save money just by using your library card. Did you know that? Did you know that you could actually save money with your library card? Here's more about that. Today, I want to show you how you can save money just by using your library card. Do you love to read magazines or books? Do you enjoy genealogy and following your family's roots? You know how expensive those things can get. If you do not have a library card, let me show you how you can access that. Just visit the county library's website and complete the form and hit submit. Once you submit that form, a librarian will contact you with all your information. If you'd rather go to the library in person to get your library card, that's totally fine. A librarian will be happy to assist you. Are you ready to start saving money? Let me show you how. So when you visit the Chatham County Library's website, you will find featured online resources at the bottom of the page. For genealogy, we have the African American Heritage website. And another website that's offered is Ancestry.com. Newspapers.com is also available. This free version that's offered through the Chatham County Library offers newspapers from Chatham County's past. Now we're going to move on to find out how you can save money by borrowing books through the North Carolina Kids Digital Library. The North Carolina Kids Digital Library has an array of books for children of all ages. The next resource is Novelist Plus. Novelist Plus is a reader's resource. Through North Carolina Live, you're on your way to Novelist Plus. Here you can find books for all ages, from children to adults. And while you're in this portal, you can click on Learning Express Library where you can find tests, tutorials, ebooks, and more. And last but not least, we are going to visit the E Incorporated Library, where you can check out ebooks, audiobooks, and magazines. This portal offers over 42,000 titles. Now, sometimes you may have to wait for a book to become available if someone already has it checked out. And if that's the case, you would just click on Place a Hold, where you can reserve the book. I love magazines, 
And so I was excited to see that they had some of the most popular magazines that you can find on the newsstands. They offer magazines from other countries that you can check out as well. Just visit the Chatham County Library's website and explore all the resources that is available. And you may be amazed by how much money you really can save when you take advantage of the resources that the Chatham County Library offers. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? So next time you're at the grocery store, just walk by the magazines. Don't let them call your name. Come and read me. I've got the latest gossip. No, no, no. Just head to your computer and borrow the magazines or the books for free just by using your library card. Okay, now it's time to step back in time once again. Let's visit Chatham Bank in Solar City. It's been 121 years since the Chatham Bank was established. Sheriff J.J. Jenkins realized that a bank in Solar City was desperately needed. He reached out to local residents in the area and called for a meeting on November 20th, 1901. From that meeting, the Chatham Bank became a reality. F.M. Hadley was the bank president and L.L. L. Wren was vice president, and J.J. J. Jenkins was cashier. As Salar City grew in population, Chatham Bank grew too. By 1961, Chatham Bank was looking to add additional services, but without the help of a larger bank, it seemed impossible to add those extra services. A vote was taken and passed to merge with First Union National Bank of North Carolina. On November 19, 1976, the bank celebrated its 75th anniversary. Refreshments were served at their multiple locations, and a drawing was held for prizes. The first prize was a diamond necklace, and the second prize was for a CB radio. To read more and to check out advertisements and some photos of the bank, just visit the growing Chatham newsletter. To access the newsletter, just visit go.ncsu.edu forward slash growing Chatham 1122. Here's some news from our community partners. Chatham County Public Health Department is hosting a healthy lifestyles and wellness programs. Diabetes Prevention Program. Learn more about this program and find out when the next classes are scheduled by calling the Solar City Clinic at 919-742-5641. Diabetes Self-Management Education. To learn more about this program by calling the Solar City Clinic at 919-742-5641. All participants must have a referral from a physician to participate. Nutrition Counseling. Call the Solar City Clinic at 919-742-5641 to schedule an appointment. Sliding scale is available for the uninsured. Most insurance is accepted. Exercise your right to vote. Don't forget, November 8th, 2022 is Election Day. So go out and vote. That's it for the Growing Chatham Podcast for November 2022. And don't forget to visit the Growing Chatham Newsletter go.ncsu.edu forward slash Growing Chatham 1122 to access the links, the stories that were mentioned, and the videos. I'm Tiffany Hancock. I'll be back in December. Until then, enjoy your holiday with friends and family.